Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to give you a quick rundown of all the things you wanted to know and possibly some things you didn't want to know about keeping Emperor Scorpions as a pet. Emperor Scorpions are among the largest scorpions in the world. When fully grown, they can exceed a length of 8 inches. Despite their large size and fierce appearance, these scorpions are not dangerous to human beings. Their venom is actually considered to be quite mild. The average lifespan for a healthy emperor scorpion is about 5 to 8 years in captivity. By an experienced keeper, these scorpions can be easily handled, though you must be gentle with them and very careful not to drop them. Their temperament is actually quite docile, and they'll only sting if thoroughly provoked. These scorpions also possess strong pinchers as a means of defense, but just as with their sting, their tendency is to flee rather than to engage with something much larger than they are. This is a juvenile emperor scorpion who has not yet reached maturity. Here I have a fully mature adult alongside a juvenile. This will give you a size comparison. These animals can be kept communally. They're actually pretty peaceful and generally won't attack each other. One of the benefits to keeping these animals as a pet is just how easy they are to care for. Due to their nature, they don't require a lot of space. A 10 gallon is usually good for one emperor scorpion. If you're adding more to your colony, you'll probably want to go a little larger. They do require a watering dish, and they like to have a few places to hide. But other than that, you keep it simplistic. It is essential though that their enclosure is kept secure. These scorpions are surprisingly good climbers. You'll want to make sure that whatever top you use is fastened well. I tend to keep away from screen tops and prefer to use something a little more sturdy. An added benefit to this is that a heating element can be placed directly on top of the tank. Emperor scorpions require a lot of heat. It is essential for their survival. They should be kept around 90 degrees Fahrenheit. They also require a lot of humidity. So in order to keep them in good health, you should be misting their tank daily. Being kept in an environment such as this makes them prone to dehydration. So along with misting, make sure you're providing them fresh water every day. Along with a heat lamp, underheating can be provided by utilizing heat mats. These can be stuck directly to the bottom of a tank or whatever receptacle you're keeping your scorpion in. Warm scorpions are happy scorpions. If kept in a hot environment, they'll grow faster and live longer. These scorpions should be fed a variety of insects. As a staple diet, you can give them crickets, but I will supplement this with things such as dubia roaches and mealworms. When fully grown, I'll usually give them a diet of about eight crickets per week, but juveniles I'll feed much more frequently as they need this energy to grow. Breeding emperor scorpions is exceptionally easy. If they're being kept communally, this will happen on its own. Their mating process is actually quite interesting, but I won't get into that, as you'll likely never see this actually happening. In order for them to breed, they have to first reach sexual maturity. The easiest way to tell is by looking at their stinger. When it turns this dark red color, that means they're matured. As you can see on this juvenile, the color is very white. This one is not quite ready to be paired. Emperor scorpions actually give live birth to their young. During the course of many hours, they'll give birth to these babies one by one, sometimes up to 30 babies at a time. Their mother has a strong maternal instinct, and as these babies are born, they'll climb onto her back where they'll remain for weeks under her protection.
During this time, the mother will ensure that they're well fed and fiercely protect them from anything that might attack them. These babies require time for their exoskeletons to harden. When that does happen, they'll be ready to venture out on their own and leave the care of their mother. Another fascinating characteristic of scorpions is their ability to glow under ultraviolet light. Though it is not quite known why they do this, it is theorized that they use their entire body to sense light. Scorpions are actually quite sensitive to light and they will flee it when given the opportunity. Whatever the reason, it is pretty cool and one of the many cool things about scorpions. As you can see with this mother and her young, it requires fully formed and hardened exoskeletons to produce this effect. When soft like these babies are, they will not glow under this light. Scorpions have what's known as an exoskeleton, which essentially means that they wear their skeleton on the outside of their body. In order for them to grow larger throughout their life, they must go through a process called molting. As they grow larger, they'll need to burst out of their exoskeleton and grow a new one. During this time, they are defenseless, so they will remain reclusive. It is a fascinating process, and if you'd like an up-close look at it, you can find a video of it on my YouTube channel. So now for that burning question that everybody really wants to know. What does it actually feel like to be stung by one of these scorpions? For the purpose of this video, I will entice one of these juveniles to sting me. As I mentioned before, this actually takes a fair bit of effort, but can be done. There is initial pain after being stung. I'd compare it to a bee sting. And after 30 minutes, you can see a fair bit of localized swelling where it got me. I did feel a little sweaty and uncomfortable, but after about an hour and a half, the swelling started to go down and there were no lasting effects. For the right person, an emperor scorpion makes a great pet and it's never a dull moment watching them grow. I hope that this video has helped to educate you on what it's like to keep one of these animals as a pet. If you'd like more in-depth information on them, this can be found on my website. Thank you for watching.